Welcome to the studios of WCMU Public Television, this time on Quiz Central, our Season 19 championship game between White Cloud and Traverse City Central. We've got that coming up for you next. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Hello everyone, I'm David Nicholas. Welcome to our 19th season of Quiz Central here on WCMU. This time, students from White Cloud are taking on Traverse City Central. Before we kick off our championship game, here's how we got to this point, a single elimination tournament. Two competing teams each week were independently challenged with an identical set of questions. The school that answered the most questions correctly in the time allotted advanced to the next round. And we've continued with that process until we have reached this game, our championship, and we will be crowning that season 19 champion tonight. At the end of the season, four Lucky Quiz Central seniors will receive a book scholarship provided by the CMU Bookstore. And top teams from Quiz Central will qualify for the NAQT High School National Championship Tournament. And now let's get to our championship final. The first round is the maroon and gold rush. Teams will have just two minutes to answer or pass on each question. Each correct answer worth 10 points with no point deduction for incorrect answers. Students will be able to consult with teammates on each question, but the final answers will be coming from the team's captain. Let's get this championship game underway. The team from White Cloud, you're up first. Good luck, players. Your first question now in the Maroon and Gold Rush. Kenneth Appel and Wolfgang Hocken used a computer to help prove what theorem, which is often formulated in terms of coloring countries on a map? No answer. What title character kills Glocky and escapes in a flying chariot in a Euripides play about the end of this woman's marriage to the Greek hero Jason? No answer. No answer. What musical that features the song Brave Sir Robin is based on Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Pass. What former colony, which experienced an exodus of Pinot Noirs after 1962's Evian Accords, won independence in a brutal war with France in North Africa? Algeria. Answer, please. Algeria. Yes, correct. What name was shared by the only two emperors of Brazil, the first of whom declared independence? Pedro. In... Correct. What theologian? who heard children singing Tole Lege, prompting him to leave Manichaeism, was a bishop of Hippo and wrote confessions in A.D. 397. No answer. What linear triatomic molecule has a solid form known as dry ice is the primary contributor of the greenhouse effect? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. That is correct. What German Renaissance artist showed a contemplative angel in his engraving Melancholia One? No answer. What king who was imprisoned at Durstein Castle by Leopold V fought the Third Crusade and had an animal-inspired moniker commemorating Richard his Richard the Lionhearted? That is correct. What book in which a human boy named Sam Beaver protects a nest full of eggs. And the bell gets us there at the end of that. All right, thank you, White Cloud, Traverse City Central. It is your turn. Good luck, players. Your first question now as we kick off this game with your maroon and gold rush. Kenneth Appel and Wolfgang Hocken used a computer to help prove what theorem, which is often formulated in terms of coloring countries on a map. Yes. 
What title character kills Glocky and escapes on a flying chariot in a Euripides play about the end of this woman's marriage to the Greek hero Jason? Thirsty. Incorrect. What musical that features the song Brave Sir Robin is based on Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Life of Brian. Life of Brian. Incorrect. What former colony which experienced an exodus of P.A. Noirs after 1962's Avian Accords won independence in a brutal war with France in North Africa? Algeria. Correct. What name was shared by the only two emperors of Brazil, the first of whom declared independence from Portugal in 1822? Dom Pedro. Correct. What theologian who heard children singing Tole Lege, prompting him to leave Manichaeism, was a bishop of Hippo who wrote Confessions in A.D. 397? John Monte Carbina. Incorrect. What linear triatomic molecule has a solid form known as dry ice, is the primary contributor to the greenhouse effect, and has a molecule formula? Carbon dioxide. Answer again, please. Carbon dioxide. That is correct. What German Renaissance artist showed a contemplative angel in his engraving Melancholia 1? Pass. What king, who was imprisoned at Durstein Castle by Leopold V, and the bell signals the end of that round. Well, a few tough questions before both teams settled into that first round. Let's revisit the missed answers. Kenneth Appel and Wolfgang Hocken used a computer to prove the four-color theorem. The title character that kills Glauke was Medea. The musical that features the song Brave Sir Robin, that was Spamalot. The theologian who was a bishop of Hippo and wrote confessions in A.D. 397 was St. Augustine. The German Renaissance artist we were looking for was Albrecht Dürer. And finally, the question that the bell interrupted about a book in which Sam Beaver protects a nest full of eggs was The Trumpet of the Swan. White Cloud is off to an early 40 to 30 lead in our game tonight. Before we start our next round here on Quiz Central, let's meet the players competing today for the championship. First up, we say hello to the students from White Cloud. My name is Brian Schaefer. I am a senior at White Cloud High School, and I am the captain of the Quiz Bowl team. Hi, my name is Wyatt Carnes. I go to White Cloud High School. I'm a junior, and I work at Culver's. Uh, my name is Samuel Beer. I'm a senior at White Cloud High School, and I'm also on the Quiz Bowl team. Uh, my name is Jarrett Willick the Sixth, and I'm a junior at White Cloud High School, <laughs> and I'm on the Quiz Bowl. Great to have you here, players. Now, a chance to say hello to our team from Traverse City Central. I'm Jackson. I'm a senior at Traverse City Central, and I do band and cross country. I'm Arthur. I'm a sophomore at Central High School, and I'm on the debate team. I'm Henry. I'm a sophomore at Traverse City Central, and I do band. I'm Heli. I'm a sophomore at Traverse City Central, and I do tennis. All right, thank you, students. Now, the next round today is the Perfect Ten. And in the Perfect Ten, our teens are given a category, and they'll have 60 seconds to answer or pass on each of the 10 questions pertaining to that category. Correct answers, again, worth 10 points with no point deduction for incorrect answers. And our Perfect Ten category for today is tens. Answer the following about the number 10. White Cloud, you're up first. Good luck, players. Here is your first question in today's Perfect Ten. Tenth month of the Gregorian calendar. October. Correct. Founding father depicted on the $10 bill. Uh, Matt, no, Hamilton. Monroe? Correct. Alexander Hamilton, yes. A period of 10 years. Decade. Decade. Correct. Either Old Testament book that lists the Ten Commandments. Exodus. Exodus. Correct. Type of number that includes 10, 15, and 21. Uh, Pass. Street whose number 10 is home to the British Prime Minister. Pass. Tenth president whose name followed Tippecanoe in a slogan. Tyler. Correct. 
Decapods, like shrimp, belong to this phylum. Uh, crustaceans? Crustaceans. Incorrect. Country with a five, and the bell gets us before we get that question, but a good run through the perfect ten. All right, White Cloud, thank you. Traverse City Central, good luck, players. Time for you to take on the perfect ten, and here is your first question. Tenth month of the Gregorian calendar. October. Correct. Founding father depicted on the $10 bill. Hamilton. Correct. A period of 10 years. Decade. Correct. Either Old Testament book that lists the Ten Commandments. Exodus. Correct. Type of number that includes 10, 15, and 21. Composite. Incorrect. Street whose number 10 is home to the British Prime Minister. Downing. Correct. Tenth president who, whose name followed Tippecanoe in a slogan. Tyler. Correct. Decapods, like shrimp, belong to this phylum. And the bell signals the end. Well, neither team was perfect in the tens category, but both schools got a lot of correct answers, and our game is now tied at 90. Let's revisit the incorrect answers. The type of number that includes 10, 15, and 21 is a triangular number. Decapods, like shrimp, belong to this phylum. The answer we were looking for was Arthropoda. And finally, the country with a five dynasties and 10 kingdoms well, we were looking for the answer of China. Next up in our game is the home stretch. I'll have more questions for our teams and correct answers worth 10 points. No deduction for any incorrect answers. White Cloud, you are up first. Good luck, players. Here is your first question. What artist who organized Dismaland, a parody of Disneyland, created the girl with balloon stencils and is an anonymous English street artist? Banksy. Banksy. Correct. Tulip meets the robot 1-1 on a cartoon named for an infinity type of what vehicle, another of Train. which circles... Train. Answer, please. Train. Yes, correct. What product suddenly appears in a six stone jars at the start of John chapter 2 during the wedding at Cana in which the first miracle of Jesus who transforms water? Wine. Correct. What NASA space probe carried an instrument named Ralph, which was used to produce images of Pluto during the 2015 flyby? Voyager? Incorrect. Saboring refers to the practice of persuading another person to commit what crime that includes lying while under oath? Perjury. Part perjury. That is correct. What 2015 film, based on an Andy Weir novel, is titled for botanist and uh, astronaut Mark Watney, played by Matt Damon, who is stranded on the Red the Martian? Planet? Martian? That is correct. <laughs> what term for stylized symbol made of intertwined letters is often used for motifs that can be embroidered onto tailored clothing? Logo. Logo. Incorrect. What woman who was sold into a marriage to, to St. Charbonneau was a Shoshone interpreter who assisted the Lewis and Clark expedition? Sacagawea. Sacagawea. That is correct. The second and fourth quantum numbers for electrons in an atom correspond to the spin and orbital types of what classical quantity? Pass. What animal with extinct Caspian and Bali species and an endangered Bengal species is the Lion, largest... Uh, tiger? That is correct. Ella Baker was a strategist for what civil rights organization established by young African-American activists in 1960? NAACP. Incorrect. What last name is shared by the singer of I Got You and is known as the Godfather of Soul and an abolitionist who led a raid on Harper's Ferry? Brown. Correct. 
What alcoholic beverage depicted in namesake paintings by Edgar Degas and Vincent Van Gogh was once known as the Green Fairy? Absinthe. Correct. What opera, whose arias include Kajeli Mania, uh, is about an ill seamstress who falls in love with Rodolfo and was written by Giacomo Puccini? Uh, Madame Butterfly. Madame Butterfly. Incorrect. What group of shrubs or trees that grow in Bacchus water help protect parts of Asia's coastline from the 2004 Boxing Day tsunami? Oh. Mangrove. That is correct. What phenomenon whose far field type can be explained by Huygens' principle can be caused by an aperture that involves light bending around an object? Refraction. Refraction? Incorrect. And the bell signals the end of that round. All right, White Cloud, thank you. Next up, Traverse City Central. Good luck, players. Here comes your first question in our home stretch round. What artist who organized Dismal Land, a parody of Disneyland, created the girl with balloon stencils and is an anonymous English street artist? Banksy. Correct. Tulip meets the robot 1-1 on a cartoon named for an infinity type of what vehicle, another of which circles the globe in the show Snowpiercer? Snowpiercer. Crane. Correct. What product suddenly appears in six stone jars at the start of John chapter 2 during the wedding at Cana in the first miracle of Jesus who transforms water? Wine. Correct. What NASA space probe carried an instrument named Ralph, which was used to produce images of Pluto during a 2015 flyby? New Horizons. Correct. Suborning refers to the practice of persuading another person to commit what crime that includes lying while under oath? Perjury. Correct. What 2015 film based on an Andy Weir novel, is titled for botanist and astronaut Mark Watney, Russian. played by Matt Damon. Russian. That is correct. What term for a sterilized symbol made of intertwined letters is often used for motifs that can be embroidered onto tailored clothing? Pass. What woman who was sold into marriage to Toussaint Charbonneau was a Shoshone interpreter who assisted Lewis and Clark. Sacagawea. Correct. The second and fourth quantum numbers for electrons in an atom correspond to the spin and orbital types of what classical quantity? Mass. Incorrect. What animal with extinct Caspian and Bali species and an endangered Bengal species is the largest feline species known for its black stripes? Tiger. Answer again, please. Tiger. That is correct. Ella Baker was a strategist for what civil rights uh, organization established by young African-American activists in 1960? SCLC. SCLC. That's incorrect. What name, last name, is shared by the singer of I Got You, who is known as the Godfather of Soul, and an abolitionist who led a raid on Harper's Ferry? Brown. Brown. That is correct. What alcoholic beverage depicted in namesake paintings by Edgar Degas and Vincent Van Gogh was once known as the Green Ferry? Absinthe. Absinthe. Correct. What opera, whose arias include Kejeli Damania, is about an ill seamstress who falls in love with Rodolfo and was written by Giacomo Puccini? Indeed. Incorrect. What group of shrubs or trees that grow in brackish water helped protect parts of Asia's coastline from the 2004 Boxing Day Mangrove. tsunami? Mangrove. Correct. And the bell signals the end of that round, but we got that one in, obviously, with a correct answer. So good job there. At the wrap up of the home stretch, let's revisit the incorrect answers. Uh, the term for a stylized symbol that can be embroidered onto tailored clothing, we were looking for monogram for the answer.
the classical quantity related to electrons in atoms was angular momentum. Ella Baker was a strategist for the civil rights organization known as the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, or SNCC. The opera about an ill seamstress was La Boheme. And finally, the phenomenon whose far field type can be explained by Huygens' principle, we were looking for diffraction. And at the end of the home stretch now, Traverse City Central holds a 10 point margin. Our score is 200 to 190 with one round remaining. Teams, it's the final countdown and your last two minutes to answer or pass questions. Correct answers are worth 10 points apiece with no point deduction for any incorrect answers. White Cloud, you are up first. Two minutes are on the clock. Good luck, players. Here comes your first question in the final countdown. What saxophonist who recorded Ornithology with Benny Harris pioneered bebop and was nicknamed Bird? Pass. <laughs> what country where two pilots died when a fire extinguishing plane crashed in Avia was the site of 2023 wildfires in Corfu, Corinthia, and Rhodes? Uh, Australia? Incorrect. What country, which is home to the Izalco volcano, is west of the Gulf of Fonseca and southwest of Honduras? Uh, Panama. Incorrect. What author of the dystopian science fiction novels Clara and the Sun and Never Let Me Go is a 2017 Nobel laureate who moved to Britain from Japan? Pass. Napoleon returned to power in the Hundred Days after escaping from what island to which he was exiled in 1814? Elba. Elba. Answer? Elba? Yes, correct. What creatures whose kings rule over the four seas surrounding China are auspicious beings honored in a boat festival and resemble serpents? Dragon. Correct. The 2023 MLB Home Run Derby was won by what first baseman and designated hitter? Pass. I'm sorry? Pass. Okay. What novella's protagonist dreams of lions on an African beach, praises the great DiMaggio, and is a fisherman named Santiago who catches a big marlin. Pass. In what 20th century decade did the Johnson-Reed Act severely restrict immigration to the U.S. by instituting a quota system? 1910s. Incorrect. What tiny objects which act as particles based on their vibration lend their name to the theory of... And the bell gets us before we complete that question. Thanks, White Cloud. Traverse City Central, you are up in the championship here. And good luck, players. Here comes your first question in today's final countdown. What saxophonist who recorded Ornithology with Benny Harris pioneered bebop and was nicknamed Bird? Parker. Correct. What country where two pilots died when a fire extinguishing plane crashed in Avia was the site of the 2023 wildfires in Corfu, Corinthia, and Rhodes? Greece. Correct. What country, which is home to the El Zalco volcano, is west of the Gulf of Fonseca and southwest of Honduras? El Salvador. Correct. What author of the dystopian science fiction novels Clara and the Sun and Never Let Me Go is a 2017 Nobel laureate who moved to Britain from Japan? Murakami. Incorrect. Napoleon returned to power in the Hundred Days after escaping from what island to which he was exiled in 1814? Elba. Elba. Correct. What creatures whose kings rule over the four seas surrounding China are auspicious beings honored in a boat festival and resemble serpents? Dragon. Correct. The 2023 MLB Home Run Derby was won by what first baseman and designated hitter for the Toronto Blue Jays, whose father was a Hall of Fame outfielder? Guerra. 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 More specific, please? Guerra Jr. Guerra Jr. 
Mm, incorrect. We were close on the name, but uh, that is incorrect. What novella's protagonist dreams of lions on an African beach, praises the great DiMaggio, and is a fisherman named Santiago who catches a big marlin? Old Man in the Sea. Old Man in the Sea. That is correct. In what 20th century decade... And the bell signals the end before we get to that question, but a good, strong finish, players. Well done. And as we close out that final countdown, let's take a look at the questions that were missed in that round. The author of the science fiction novels Clara and The Sun Never Let Me Go, we were looking for Kazuo Ishiguro. The slugger who won the 2023 MLB Home Run Derby was the Blue Jays' Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And the 20th century decade where the Johnson-Reed Act severely restricted immigration, that was the 1920s. And finally, the tiny objects which act as particles based on their vibration, we were looking for strings. Traverse City Central comes out of the final countdown as our Quiz Central Season 19 champion. Our final today was 260 to 210. Congratulations to all of our students. Great job, White Cloud. Your team was fantastic through our entire season, and congratulations to Traverse City Central. And thank you for watching and playing along this season on Quiz Central. A reminder that you can rewatch your favorite games online anytime at WCMU.org. And until we join you again for Season 20, I'm David Nicholas. Good night. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.